Hey guys, welcome back. Stop Talk and Roll episode 81, your number one jiu-jitsu analysis show on YouTube where I take your rounds, break them down, give you some criticism, critique, not criticism, give you some critique, critique your game, uh, give you some uh, kudos to the good things that you're doing, and we all learn for it. I learn, you learn, the other people learn. It's good stuff. Um, Today we have Dom in the white key and white belt and Dan in the white key and blue belt. Um, if you like the video, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like. If you could, please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell if you want to see more of this content. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. Um, if you'd like me to review one of your rounds, just check out in the description below. There we go. I'm getting good at where it needs to be there even though I'm pointing at nothing in my space that I'm recording in. Um, I am currently, as I've said earlier, I'm currently out of the country. So if I don't get back to you right away, um, I will get back to you by the end of this month, July. Okay. So jump right in. It's a caveat. I know Dom, he's been doing an excellent job at focusing on escaping bad positions so i know he's been letting like everyone get mount on him um so if we end up there we'll see i think these guys are just watching out because everyone is trying to do stand up okay let's see are these guys gonna start okay so dan has pulled butterfly it's funny because dan always when we roll is always trying to pass i never really get to see him play the guards so it's funny to me when i see him playing guard because it's usually like me fending off of his fending off his passing attempts and uh recovering so dom i want you to get over the knees not just over the back of the sh the the calves right right now it doesn't really do anything um dan that sweep you don't want to go. You don't want to go this way. You want to go this way with it. You want to go towards your hands, okay? Not away, because look, he's got post. He's got post. You do. You do end up getting the sweep, but he has posts. I would take him the other direction. So you, you, you clamp down, pull him into you, and then away, okay? Uh, what is? What would it be like this? Come across, like this. That's the grip. From here, oh, that's weird. I need to have somebody with me. If I have somebody, boom, boom, I come across. Mm. I think it's this, but I need, I need, I need somebody. I need, <laughs> I need a body. Dom, sorry. On your side, you base off of this. I would base with your leg. Just step up here. Step up. Base with your leg. I can't tell if you're in. I think you're in half right now, but I can't tell. Oh, you're yeah, in your knee slice. So, Dan, you when I'm in half guard here, I'm looking to pop my knee out. Perfect. Looks like you just hit it. And then... Um, I wouldn't go too far forward this way because he can roll you over. Dom, right here, you can reach through, grab the back of his leg, and actually drive him this way. What up, Ricky? <laughs> this is weird. Okay. <laughs> I would look to turn to your back. Are you borrowing a belt? Do you have a stripe? I think you're borrowing a belt. I know Jeff doesn't do stripes. Okay, and then Dom, I, I'm not gonna make a comment. Dom, again, as I said in the beginning of the video, Dom lets people mount because he's been working on his mount escapes, which look very good. So clearly don't let someone do what you just did, but I know you're letting people get to mount so i'm not gonna go into too much comment about letting someone mount you so great job so he's able to get back to three-quarter mount he's able to get back to half guard very good dom very good and okay
Yeah. Good. And he, he does it on both. He's styling on him right now with these hip escapes. You just got mount back on both sides. And you let him mount again. How confident. Let's see. So while you're defending your upper body, you should be looking to get your, you should be looking to escape mount at the same time. Um, Dan, I like, yeah, Dan, you got to move up higher so you can't hip escape so easily. Or you can get control underneath his elbow. I like that you're addressing it now. Good knee slice, boom, right through. I would run, I would look to run his hips back this way. Okay, let's you mount you again. So let's see if he makes any adjustments. So when he turns you like this, you can go to a one knee up position. So right here, you can look to either do a long hook or you would turn, slide this knee up high and put this foot, your, your so your right leg, you would step up so you'd have like one one leg up on the ground with your foot on the ground and you slide up high. This would this would get you away from the hip escapes too. The other thing you could do is exactly what you're doing here. Put your knees your feet together and pinching your knees. This is going to make it harder for him to hip escape. You can even lock your legs. But I would I would go to the one knee up position. Oh, nice. Good job. I like the approach Dom's taking. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, look, it lets you mount you again. <laughs> Dom, you gotta do some offensive stuff. I for the for the channel. But this is good. This is good mount escapes. Hey man, this is like a little mount escape instructional. But listen, guys, this is what I'm talking about though. Dom is new is one of the newer people in the gym he understands that escaping is important and he's putting himself in the position you can clearly tell like he's got no him getting beat has no effect necessarily on like how he feels about class what he's trying to do is just being able to defend himself in the bottom of mount position and it's smart because like it's like one of the worst positions you can be in. So you're only progressing forward from there. So he's able to get back to half guard and able to get him over. I mean, like if you work on a half guard game, right? That's good. Okay. So these guys have, and, and it's good for Dan too, to work on his, on his mount. Yeah. Dan, you got to be a little bit more flexible with your legs. You got to open your legs up. If you keep your knees, is that the end of the round? Yeah. If you keep your knees stuck together, Right, like your 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 base is narrow, you're gonna get flipped over. So you have to be able to move your legs into different positions. You have the one knee up, you have the long hook, um, you have uh, grape finds, right? You have different things you can do. If he's gonna bump and roll, generally, where is it? Right, like so here. I at this point because this leg is trapped, it's a little too late to be honest. So here. I mean, one thing you what one, one thing that I do if someone's turning in the bottom of mount, sometimes I'll just open up space and let them spin. Because if they spin too much, I'm going to take their back. So you let them spin until they realize like, "Oh shoot, I shouldn't be doing this." And when they try to get back to regular mount, you to quote the great uh, John Danaher, close the door. So you just pinch everything back up and you're like no 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 you're you're stuck in this side position now and this is where we're going to play from and then he's that much closer to getting his back taken um i know dom's really good about that though about keeping his elbow behind his back so he doesn't get his back taken but all right good round guys um kind of like a mount instructional there escape instructional but hey i'll take it good job um yes like subscribe notify get me your videos I love you. Thank you. Bye.